tons of people with bones that they never really care for much about the deliciousness, the tender bone marrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and you all been wondering on where is part two on the Monster Hunt short funny film? Well, it's obviously easy to answer that. It's just because it's not because that one of us is sick or we're not ready, or just because it's not the coronavirus or anything. Since that only happened this year. Last year, the first release of part one happened and it was close to uh, be ready for part 2. Like, after we finished a bit scenes for part 2, like we were close to the final. But it didn't work since this all happened during it part 1 for recording during that my phone is kind of dead. Because there was a thing about a rule about inviting your friends to how much hours they had to stay in your house or something. Sometimes we've been uh, watching movies or videos doing something before we film. So hours later, we've been in a hurry to get things ready. And sometimes we have to finish one simple long scene that is mostly the talk between Cory and his sister. That was the longest one. Until now we get to the part with my self getting chased by Cory. He was supposed to get bit and turn into a zombie. And that was a little bit short but a little bit long because we tried to find any type of areas around the cemetery to film. Just in case we don't just, uh, get, don't let everybody get distracted by us or don't want to interrupt anything. So we tried somewhere private or something. So yeah. But for the part two scenes, well, it's mostly just, just because the only, uh, we use Jeremy's tablet. That he used a lot. Well, it could be an iPad or something. I actually forgot, but it running out of charger or something. And sometimes we can't find any place to put it because this all happened before I got myself an iPhone stand. Because I only first got that back in Christmas last year. But nothing didn't work, and my phone was dead for no reason because I truly forgot to re to charge it. So yeah. And even the calls phones kind of did for some reason, I don't know. And yeah, things turn out a little bit slow until months later, mom wants me my mom wants me to get a uh, <laughs> till years I mean so months later mom gets me a haircut. Which I want to say no, but I want to be a nicest person around the family and I had to, to get myself a haircut to remove the right looks to make for the character I was playing as. So I gotta wait for months, a year perhaps, to make my hair grow back longer. Till so my family trying to make me to uh, cut my hair again, which is kind of dumb. So, so months, so one year later, I always look at myself in the mirror to check how far my my long hair grows. I only see a little bit, but it's still not the same. So I gotta wait for a little bit more months. Or probably one year or something. If I had to just forget about the long hair and just continue recording, but Jeremy's like, you had to just wait for it to grow a year. Just wait. Or, I don't know. Because I don't want to mess up the looks for part two. Like, we have a bit few recordings for part two, but though all of those scenes were mostly, uh, well, mostly one of them, mostly have a. Uh, a uh, bad quality. You got there was a part when the part when the uh, Corey uh, met with that same kid again, mostly attacked him. Get take place at a random tree at the cemetery when Corey eats his own type of lunch, but uh, gets attacked by that kid again. And I mostly forgot his name. It was mostly the zombie I play as. So that's mostly it for that time, and we. Talk for different lines because Jeremy, he's a different type of guy who's mostly reading his lines. He looks at them until he's a different type of ideas for his type of words for the character. I think I was acting my own same lines, trying to get things right from the script. But Jeremy's different. Like when you have a different type of actor who's mostly uh, doing some different type of lines, they act different. Because it's similar to like Jim Carrey, like sometimes, like in the uh, Batman. 
forever when you have a nectar being as the Riddler that is mostly Jim Carrey and mostly Two-Face, they're exactly like different. Maybe cut director just do that, or just the actors, I don't know. That you act different between those awesome characters, I don't know. Something like that, I tell you, you just say a different length instead. So you have to leave it like that, because you're running out of time before Jeremy leaves. So yeah, so I gotta wait for a few months. Even I gotta wait until the coronavirus is gone. Which we still don't know on what month or a year it might be gone. Yeah, and I'm mostly going back to school on the first week of May. Since I mostly have a full break on April. So yeah. So there's nothing for me to do right now. If, if I have a chance to uh, meet up with Jeremy. If there's like a perfect sunny day out, and mostly have my phone fully charged and uh, getting my iPhone stand out, I might have a chance to record the scenes for part two, and maybe have to call back. So that's mostly could be the reason to get this part two ready. That's myself uh, getting a haircut, and we'll see. Uh, mostly some weathers are going a little bit bad, and sometimes it doesn't look right because. Years later, the place, the field for the cemetery it looks a bit different because it's a little bit grayish or anything, like how you imagine outside after the rain stops or there's like a big wind or something that gets rid of all the leaves, every perfect colors for the grasses or something. Looks a bit bad. It's similar like that. Like how you imagine. Because I'm trying to find the right look, I'm trying to make the film a little bit more colorful. And we're still doing, trying to make it funny with our uh, characters. So yeah, with my iPhone stand now here, I will use it every time. But Jeremy's like, let's make it quick. Let's just finish it. Let's just put that angle and we're done. And we'll finish the other one for that scene. And we're done. So yeah, it's not, because I'm trying to get the right angle. Because watch how you folks do the same thing. Or like how Hollywood did by recording at the same a million times, but with different angles. It's really different. So yeah. So Jeremy, it's like he wanted to do something like similar back in the 60s or somewhere like in the 40s or 50s way how directors do when they got their own cameras. It's not by changing different angles every time, but rather just leave it there. So yeah, it's much like that. But anyways, that's why part two didn't came out, but it's still coming. We just had to wait until my hair grows and we'll see, wait for the time when the coronavirus is gone. I hope. Because we don't know how many times my people are getting sick and die. I really hate it. Anyways, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video a bit. <laughs> like how you're not enjoying it or anything right now. Anyways, part two is still coming. And the art who made this thumbnail is my sister, who's mostly a YouTuber named Sophia. Flowerfield. I leave a link to her channel down below so you can support her work because she and my other sister are working on a business for arts. Mostly really cool. They started making their own type of business already. Which I have not. Which I don't know what mine will be like if I would think about a business or something to just sell something. I don't know. Maybe not. I would just still be a YouTuber. Anyways, folks, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.